place, a new home for a while. Let me there feel is. alive. He's Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. Itadakimasu. I know man, passing by. Life is good, best I ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Singapore Changi Airport. G'day, welcome to Singapore Changi Airport again. I know the last international flight we took was to here. And mum and I had an amazing foodie trip there. This time, we're heading back to Malaysia for another foodie trip. Oi oi, welcome back. We had to pee now. Well, mum and Mark had to pee. I'm waiting till we get to the Silver Crisp Lounge in Terminal 3. Oh, now, it's not even 5 a.m. local time in Singapore. I've only slept one hour in the last 18, 20 hours. That's normal for someone who suffers from acute insomnia. We now need to take the inter-terminal train over to Terminal 3. No rush, because we have hours and hours and hours before our next flight to KL. Oh, it's so good to be back in Singapore. There's a smell, there's a scent. You're walking into a freaking humid blanket. So good to be back. Okay, where the hell are we going? Early still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope it goes. <laughs> Hi, sir. Hi. You want one time? 
Thank you very much. Laksa. However, a lot of herbs and spices, and it gets caught in your throat. What I love is that there's actually a lot of ingredients. The shrimp or the prawns are huge, but what I love the most, the quail eggs. I absolutely love the quail eggs. I used to raise my own quails only for the eggs. Itadakimasu. Mm. Yeah. And you've got the tofu. The tofu puffs. Yeah. Mm. They're actually using the rice noodles, which we use, um, thin version, which we use for Asam Laksa, which is a Penang specialty. I enjoy this. This is actually really, really nice. <laughs> Skynet is here. Who needs human slaves when you've got robots?
my god, you have no idea how excited I am. It has been two years, nine months, and X number of days since the last time I've been back in Malaysia. Oh, that's a smell, that's a, an energy, that's a heart about this country. I love, love, love Malaysia. I'm so glad to be home. Yes. Oh, I love Malaysia. Yes, I think we've got all of it. Excellent. Well done. That took a whopping like six hours. This was worse than sitting New Year's Eve at the Sydney Opera Wait, House. Looks like we've got a win here, so we can buy 10 ringgit per person per sector. So on the way to Butterworth, um, we pay 10 ringgit per person, and then on the way back, 10 ringgit per person. So it's 100 ringgit extra, which is really, really good. 33 bucks. What is it with Asia and me? It's always raining. I'm always soaked. So we are heading to Vishal food and catering, um, one of the best um, banana leaf restaurants in Kuala Lumpur. But I think we're going to get drowned. We're going to get drenched before we get there. <laughs>
so I had grand plans for today, um, all of which revolved around eating amazing food and snacks around Brickfields, around Little India. But then Malaysia Customs Immigration decided to throw a spanner in the works and it took us hours and hours to get through Malaysian immigration. Like the line just never seemed to end. So unfortunately that's all out the window. But we're here at Vishal Food and Catering for a delicious banana leaf dinner. You can take what you want. You can give the vegetable only. Oh. Three vegetables. So we go and pick the meat then. No. Ooh. Is that cabbage? Cabbage. Ah. And this is vegetable. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And that was that like potato? It's not water dog. Oh. Ah. Mix. So much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <Thank you>. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to say this him. <laughs> no. No. Thank you. Can <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Ikan goreng ah. Ikan goreng one. Ah, also one. 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 Okay, sama. Ayam goreng. Kena di sana. Sama. What else have you got? Uh, mutton. Mutton. Uh, mutton. Something. Something. Mutton. Kambing. Ah. Yang mutton. Yes. What is that? Chicken. Oh, oh mutton. Uh, mutton ah. Uh, mutton. Mutton. Oh, that looks so good. Gawa, yeah, I think cabbage with it looks like um oh my god it's mustard seeds must thank you mustard seeds mustard seeds that's a vegetable <laughs> and then that looks like a mixed curry and here we've got plain white rice with chicken curry and fish curry so champo mix and then we've got ikan goreng which is fried fish ikan ayam fried chicken. Um, my favorite yeah, so I'm just tearing it up. Because <laughs> he doesn't do stuff with bones in it. <gasps> oh, you don't do oh, bones? I do. I do. <laughs> no, I didn't give you bones. No, I'd rather not. Thank you. Itadakimasu. Now we are truly a member of the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. 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 Thank that curry is not overly spicy, so it's chump. So it's a mix of chicken and fish curry. It's just wonderful. <laughs> Try a little bit of the um, cabbage. Mm. Salty. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a slight bitterness to it. It's really nice. That green vegetable is spinach. Oh my god, it is so yummy. Spicy, creamy, rich. I could eat an entire bowl of that. Now, this. Curry. Dry curry. This is. I am boring. Fried chicken. Turmeric, ginger, garlic powder. Mm. Oh, perfectly seasoned. And now. Ikan goreng, fried fish. Oh, that's good. That's like the thick mackerel. It's actually quite sad because Mark is behind the camera at the moment and he can't eat any of this because he's on a elimination diet at the moment and he can only eat gluten-free bread, bananas, and plain white rice. This is so good though. You're missing out, Mark. This is delicious. Oh my God. That mutton is so lamby. It's so tender and moist. That curry is rich and there's actually a bit of spice to it. It is delicious. Now, this is banana leaf etiquette. When you finish dinner, like what mum has done here, if you enjoy the meal, you fold it towards you. 
if you didn't enjoy it or you're at a funeral, you fold it away from you because you don't ever want to be back there. So, when you're done, fold it towards you. That was delicious. Oh my god. This is this is my flavoured fingers. Like, this is the best way to finger your meal. Mmm. Special food and catering, if you're in KL, if you're in Brickfields, heck, even if you're just here for a day, make your way to Brickfields. I'm going to share the dress here. It is delicious. It is spectacular. Nice? Good? What do you think? It's delicious. Delicious. Yotten. Sloncha. Oh, I can smell the cinnamon. Oh. Oh, I can, the cloves. I can, yep, cinnamon and cloves. Very strong, creamy, delicious. Oh my God. Actually, I reckon you could drink this. How good is that? All of that, all the four meals, including all the curries and the masala tea and the plain white rice for Mark, came to 67 ringgit. 67 ringgit. Yeah. We are stuffed. It was delicious. It was such a good value. 67 ringgit. Wait, it's what? On Mark. It's on Mark. Oh my god. Bring it later. Bring it later. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a baby tarantula. Oh my god, he wants to come home. Thank you. Okay, oh, back under your finger. <laughs> Mark won't eat cut Indian food, but he'll play with a gecko. Like, and here's mum behind me screaming, Don't let it come near me! <laughs> I am absolutely gutted that we're not spending more time in Little India in Brickfield. There's so much energy and everyone's just so nice. The uncle who served, served as that official, he was so friendly and the food was amazing. 67 ringgit, really cheap by Western standards, obviously quite expensive by local standards, but seriously, for our first meal in Malaysia, two thumbs up. Oh, I wish we'd spend more time here. I should have organized it better, but we are unfortunately leaving for but it was tomorrow morning on the KTMB ETS, which is the electric train system. Um, so we have to arrive a little earlier, about 10 a.m. for an 11:15 a.m. train because we have to pay for um, KL Central to KL. Um, that sector. Oh, we're going to get run over. Oh God! Don't. I don't want to die on my first day. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Alright. You're not having any, are you? I'll be good. Oh. At least so I get to play. Yeah. yeah. So it to help you. Oh, will it? Alright. Yes. I don't know how. Oh, it's thick. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. It's it's actually quite viscousy. Like gelatinous. Yeah. Oh, it looks gelatinous. I suppose that's, that's the basil seed, though, isn't it? I think so. Alright. Why is that sticky? Something wet and sticky there. Mm. Okay. Alright, well. Yeah. Sure. Up. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this one. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. That's actually really nice. That's really nice. <laughs> Flavor is beautiful. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like aloe vera. You try? It's 
It tastes like aeroplane jelly. It's like mango aeroplane jelly. But with a little like almost passion fruit seed in it's small. Oh my god, passion fruit mango. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we went on a little uh, water run tonight and <laughs> stumbled on some durian ice cream. So guess who has to have that now? <laughs> Oh, it's Musan King! Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is it still recording? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. It's Musan King. Musan King, or Mao Shan Wong, is supposedly one of the best durian varieties in the world. Um, it's not the best one now because you've got things like um, Blackthorn and this sort of new, new species that's just been developed in Penang that's supposed to be better than Blackthorn. Blackthorn, by the way, is... <gasps> oh my god, sorry, I just got a waft. Smell that. Oh, that smells real. That smells amazingly real. Smell. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah. Like, no. Sorry. <laughs> it's a hotel. Oh. oh, shit. They're going to smell it. You're in trouble. Oh. Well, this... Nearby a window. <laughs> there is. There is. Eating yeah. the... We're eating the toilet. <laughs> okay. We're eating the toilet. Is there vents? Okay, so there is a sign on the table that says no durians allowed in here. But it's not technically a durian. It is a durian ice cream. So surely that's... Durian is one of the first things in the ingredients. Okay, so I'm eating the toilet. Plus it's so sexy eating in the toilet. Oh my god, oh my god it's f***ing... Smells like durian. It even looks like a durian, like a piece of... Mm. It's like kind of squished durian. I love durians by the way, but um... Okay, itadakimasu. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy moly! That has the distinctive bitterness, the sweetness, even that creamy flavour that, that underlines Musang King. This truly tastes like Musang King. Oh! Yeah! Try it. Come, come into the toilet and eat my durian. Oh my god! How good is that? Oh my god! Exactly like having. That's wild. Yeah, it totally tastes like durian. It does. Like Only ice cream. Yeah, that's. It tastes exactly like durian. So I think we're gonna end today here. Thank you so much for joining us for our first day in Malaysia. If you're new here, hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons below. If you are return, oh, watcher, whatever. Um, I would love it if you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment because that really helps with the algorithm. And um, we'll see you next week for day two. Guru!